The Life of Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. by Daquan Resco. Jesse Ernest Wilkins. Jesse was born on November 27, 1923. He was born in Chicago, Illinois. He was an African American and his life ended in Fountain Hills, Arizona on May 1, 2011. On this PowerPoint slide is a photo of Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. Parents. His father's name was Jesse Ernest Wilkins Sr. and his mother's name is Beatrice Beatrice Robinson Wilkins. Both of his parents had exceptional jobs, with his father being an attorney and his mother being a local Chicago school teacher. Both parents played a huge role within influencing and encouraging Jesse's academic succession because of each parent's positive achievements. Although oh, the beginning of his succession. To mark as the beginning of Jesse's accomplishments, he enrolled in college at the young age of 13 at the University of Chicago. At the age of 17, he received a A.B. in mathematics. He was also ranked 10th in, in mathematics' famous undergraduate Putnam competition. <clears throat> Although these were great feats accomplished by not just a young man, but a young African-American man, this was just the start of Mr. Wilkins' accomplishments. Continued Early Succession in 1942, at the age of 19, while at the University of Chicago, Mr. Wilkins became the seventh, seventh African American to obtain a PhD in mathematics. He was the second African American to be named to the National Academic of Engineering. He was acknowledged within national newspapers and described as the Negro genius. Next, I will continue on with the life's accomplishments by Jesse Ernest Wilkins. The mathematician of which I've been assigned to research is Jesse Ernest Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins has played a significant role in the world of mathematics with his many accomplishments. Jesse Ernest Wilkins was a member of many professional organization, organizations and has been given many awards in honoring his achievements throughout his well-known professional career. In addition, Mr. Wilkins also published many papers, of which 81 were published, although, let me, along with 22 more that weren't in fields, such as mathematics, optics, and nuclear engineering. Along with his many accomplishments, Mr. Wilkins has held numerous career positions throughout his lifetime that has made both major contributions and major impacts towards mathematics. There are some of there are some of the many reasons that serve as to why Jesse Ernest Wilkins is recognized as a world scholar today. The life the life beginnings of Jesse Ernest Wilkins. Jesse Ernest Wilkins was born on November 27, 1923 in Chicago, Illinois. His parents were Beatrice Robbins, Robinson Wilkins and Jesse Ernest Wilkins. His mother obtained a master's degree and worked within the local Chicago public school system, <clears throat> and his father held the position as an attorney. As far as the starting point of the recognition towards Mr. Wilkins' educational stature, in 1936, he entered a college at the young age of 13 at the University of Chicago. In addition to his young enrollment into college, at the age of 17, he received an A.B., in mathematics along with him being ranked 10th in mathematics famous undergraduate Putnam competition. Not long after these achievements in 1942 at the age of 19 Mr. Wilkins became the seventh African-American to obtain his PhD within mathematics. As these amazing feats began to get acknowledged by public media popular discussion within national newspapers made notice of Mr. Wilkins where he was described as the Negro genius.
After his advancements throughout education and the obtaining of his Ph.D., as an older individual, Mr. Wilkins taught at Tuskegee Institute from 1943 to 1944. After this journey, Mr. Wilkins was granted the opportunity to work at the Meteorological Laboratory at the University of Chicago, of which he held from 1944 to 1966. I mean, sorry about that, 1946. Subsequently, after, Mr. Wilkins began to work with more exclusive corporations such as the American Optical Industry, from 19, of which he held from 1946 to 1950. Another one was the United Nuclear Corporation, 1950 through 1960, and finally the General Atomic Company, 1960 through 1970. After these various job positions held, in 1970, after his earnings of a bachelor's and master's degree in mechanical engineering, Mr. Wilkins became a professor, professor of applied mathematics engineering at Harvard University. As time continued on, Mr. Wilkins journeyed back towards nuclear engineering where he worked at the scientific firm of eg and G, Inc., from 1977 to 1984. In 1985, Mr. Wilkins finally retired. However, his retirement only lasted five years before he became a professor yet again, but this time of applied mathematics and mathematical physics at Clark Atlanta University. Mr. Wilkins kept the professor position until his eventual death at his home in Fountain Hills, Arizona on May 1, 2011. All in all, the life of the both famous and well-known mathematician Jesse Ernest Wilkins is truly one to be admired. It is clear to see why Jesse Ernest Wilkins is recognized as a world-class scholar to the world of mathematics and mathematicians everywhere. Along with his numerous published papers and memberships to various professional organizations, he has accomplished many feats and held many career-led positions within the mathematical field that shows his contributions towards the advancements of mathematics. As Mr. Wilkins' life journey throughout mathematics ended, it is, sad, it is said that his most impactful and greatest acknowledged contribution towards mathematics was his involvement within the development of mathematical models that serve as explanation to gamma radiation. Fourth, with his professional work on establishing a shielding gamma radiator, fully with his many fully with his many accomplishments and achievements throughout mathematical education, it is no wonder why he is acknowledged as one of the best known mathematicians today. Among his many contributions to science and technology, Dr. Wilkins' foremost achievement was the study and developing, development of radiation shielding against gamma radiation. It was through his work that the calculations of radiation absorption by physical material, materials were formed, creating breakthroughs in the understanding of nuclear power's impact. During his career, Dr. Wilkins wrote over a hundred technical papers published in a host of scientific journals. He established the first PhD program in mathematics at the HBCU Harvard University, served as the president of American Nuclear Society, and in 1976 became the second African American elected to the National Academy of Engineering. Despite his achievements and comp contributions in the field of mathematics, engineering, and physics, his early career was not always smooth in segregation United States, segregated United States. However, Dr. Wilkins preserved. Always an educator, he spent many years working for the recruitment of young African Americans into the sciences. All in all, within my learnings of Mr. Wilkins, I have truly enjoyed it. 
Throughout my research of Mr. Wilkins, I've been informed of the many academic achievements of his life and of the contributions he has made towards mathematics. As I learned of his as I learned more and more of his accomplishments, I've just become inspired by his life's journey throughout math. I look forward to to doing more and more research on him and learning to walk in his, throughout his footsteps of mathematics and learn it, learning to love it just as he did. Thank you.